7 of the NFL, and we'll be watching the dynamic Tyreek Hill. He's going to be a busy man in the passing game. It's the Dolphins and the Colts, and it's coming up next on Madden NFL 25. It's the National Football League, presented by EA Sports. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we take a look at the Colts entering play. They've got all W's on the ledger so far, a perfect 6-0. Yeah, still a long way to go in this season, but they're showing everyone early on that they intend to be there in the end. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Dolphins, they're off to a terrific start, unbeaten at 5-0 through the first month of change. And you can hang a lot of this early success on their defense, too. They're the tone setters for these guys, and the entire team feeds off of what they do. Getting toward the halfway point of the NFL season, Week 7 is underway on EA Sports. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. So here come the Dolphins now as they get set to take over on offense. And they'll be let out by their third-year quarterback. And coming off of an early season open week. And in this situation, what he told us when we sat down with him was he spent a lot of time working on fundamentals, kind of getting back to basics during that time, as opposed to having to worry about healing up or resting up. It's too early in the season. Get back to the basics, get his game going again. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and 10. They'll run. Here's Devon Achan. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. So this game of our Charles, you know, the talk of the NFL world all week, two unbeaten teams. You rarely see such a matchup this deep into a season. I would agree with that because normally you might get one team undefeated for a while. But two teams like this, and I remember in preseason, you looked at schedules and said, I think these two are on a collision course. It'll be interesting to see if they actually get there, and they did. And to me, the winner of this game has to wear the crown of Super Bowl favorite. And they'll look to avoid an early three and out here on third and four. Thompson now. That is caught. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A gain of 22. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Now from Colts territory, here's a first and 10 at the 42-yard line. A give left side, here's Achan. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. The Dolphins at a perfect 5-0 here. They begin the campaign. And they come in with fresh legs. They got the extra time off thanks to an early season open week. And usually your hope is that your open week comes a little bit later in the year. But when you get a chance, get your fresh legs back, you have to take that time and run with it. And that's what they're trying to get done here. Ball on the 36 now. Here's a second down and four. Thompson now from the gun. They'll get this to his tight end. It's Jonu Smith. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts' 25-yard line. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. That early game script that they drew up is working pretty well here on this first drive. Already in field goal range, Charles knocking on the door of the red zone. You know, Brandon, when we met with the coaching staff, they kind of predicted that they would come out firing like this. I think you and I were a little skeptical it would be this easy, but they certainly knew what they were doing in scout. And now hold everything here as the challenge flag is out, and we're going to get a review of that last play. The previous play is under review. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. 
After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So an early challenge, and you know that those coaches hate to use those red flags too early, but this one turns out to be successful. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and it's now a 7-0 game. Sanders now to kick this one away. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Colts heading out for the first time behind their 22-year-old quarterback in his second season now in the NFL, Anthony Richardson. It's a pretty bland game he had last time out. Ended up throwing one interception, didn't have a touchdown to offset it, but the team found a way to win. He found a way to lean on other parts of the offense that carried them through. Here we go, Shaq! Richardson looking to throw this. Over the middle, into the hands of Michael Thomas. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it's second down. At the 30 yard line. Hey, hey, check that. Check Here's that. the former NFL rushing champ. It's Jonathan Taylor. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play backwards a yard. You talk about this Miami defense. They've been pretty solid against the pass. Toward the middle of the pack, number 14 in the NFL. So I'm prepping for this game. I kept asking Let's myself the question, what's keeping this group from being top 10 in the league against the pass? And too many mistakes. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Jalen Phillips, the former first rounder, getting in there for the sack. Brings up fourth down. Out is Rigoberto Sanchez on fourth down to punt this thing. Back deep is Tyreek Hill. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. Fielded at the 33. Call that a 44-yard punt, five on the return, and it'll be Dolphin football. The visitors' offense, led by their wide receiver, headed out for their second possession, and he's been the go-to guy in this offense throughout the first half of the season. As you can see, he's the NFL's leader in touchdown catches. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. They have to be thrilled with that first drive. They got him the touchdown. Now they'll be looking to make it a two-score advantage here on the road. And you know they spent all week in practice in meetings talking about taking an early advantage. Being the road team, going up a score, that takes the crowd out of the game and puts some doubt in the minds of their opponents. A big hitter. That one goes for 40 yards. We've seen him break off a big run already in this game, and for a second, that one looked like it might be another. Yeah, I think that any defense would say, look, we can't let him get to the second level because sometimes he'll break off the big run on his own, but oftentimes you get additional blocking at the second level, which gets you deeper into the secondary. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and ten. Tops it. And he fires one incomplete. And this defense for the Colts, they were terrific in the win over Tennessee a week ago. Yeah, what stood out to me on tape, the way they were flying to the football. So that tells me that they've got all their assignments down and they're playing with extreme confidence. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. Running left, HM. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. It's Dolphins football here as we begin the second quarter as they've got it with a third down coming up. They need a crafty play call here. 14 yards is what they need to try to convert this thing. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. 
Whether that's a little grabbing, a little hand fighting, by any means necessary on third down, he was able to get the job done in the secondary and swat that one away. And now they're going to go for it. This isn't fourth and inches. This is fourth and 14. Now Thompson. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it with it an eyelash. Dropped at the one. Wow, first and goal, and defensively, all they can do is shake their heads. Not only did they allow the conversion, but a big play as well. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just did the tip of the ball to cross the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. Week seven action, and we've got a seven-point game here in the second quarter. And this offense hoping to change that right here. Mostert will take this in for the Dolphin touchdown. They go I formation. Fullback leads the way for the touchdown. Sort of a lost art, isn't it? It really is, but sometimes when you're able to bring it back and use it against other teams, they're not prepared for it. They haven't seen it in a while, and now you gain an advantage, and we just saw that advantage result in a touchdown. Sanders on for the extra point. And it's good to make it 14-0. So the drive there took six plays. And it was capped off by a touchdown run from Raheem Moster. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The Colts offense and their quarterback coming out for their second drive. And he's been very impactful when using his legs this year, both when the pocket breaks down and by design. You notice his name sits near the top when looking at the league leaders in rushing yards by a quarterback. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling OK. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 45-yard line. Now Richardson. And his throw is going to be incomplete. But there's an incompletion, partner, and the struggles through the air continue because so far their lack of passing production has led to a lack of points. Let's go. Back to throw. Here's Richardson. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Thomas. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Set. Set up. Richardson looking to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Michael Thomas, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Colts are back within a score. A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that was the kind of play he would have made as a rookie, because usually your rookie season, is a continuation of your college days. A lot of one read, and if you don't have it, you just take off and go. Now he's settled in the pocket a little bit more, reading the field and getting to a second and sometimes third progression. That was a nice play. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And that'll make our score 14 to seven. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away.
And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Dolphins' offense now heads back on the field. Now, right now, they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Here's A-Chan to start the drive. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Officially, no gain on the play, and it's second down. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Thompson going to throw it. Oh, that'll be incomplete. Well, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. Now, right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. That goes as a gain of 36 on third down. First down, Miami. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14 to 7. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. Now it's Thompson. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Now a second and ten. A give running right, HM. And this time not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had the incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Here's Thompson being chased out left. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And out of bounds all the way down at the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. That's a big league job there of getting out of the pocket, not panicking, and just buying himself some time. Then he made a good, accurate throw to set up first and goal. A-Chan will score. Touchdown, Miami. So, partner, it was a passing game that drove them down the field, but when they get close, they trust that man in the backfield, and he took them home. And they trust their offensive line as well because so many of these units, they specialize in either pass protection or run blocking. This group shows his versatility and gets both done on this drive. Sanders now to add the extra point. It's good, and it is now 21-7. to seven. So this drive spans seven plays. And it was Devon Achan who finished things off with a touchdown reception. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. And the Colts coming out now. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, and this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one hey. practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Oh, look at Thomas wide open. 
The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here we go, here we go. From the shotgun, Richardson. This will be taken in by Michael Pittman. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A good pick up there, 26 yards. And a nice job by the two of them to not only connect on the pitch and the catch, but to carry over their practice work to the game field. They saw the adjustment by the defense, made an adjustment themselves, and picked up the first down. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Here Richardson yet again. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Good defensive call right there because they had someone shadowing him along his entire route. And he was right there ready to provide a hit that prevents him from making another catch to his big start. That's into the hands of Woods. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. Yeah, Richardson back to throw it. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free, and it brings up fourth down. Matt Gay now gets ready for the field goal try. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. Gay's kick is good, and that will get the disadvantage now back down to 11. So the three points here, they're still down, but they put somewhat of a dent into that lead going into the break. Anything helps when you're trying to chip away at a lead, but they do know that they're going to need a little bit better effort in the second half. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. And the Dolphins with one final possession here in this first half. And with a two-score lead already, they may just look to get this thing to the locker room. And they'll come out with a three-tight end look on the first play of the drive. Thompson looking to throw. That one complete down the field to Smith. And they do finally get him, but he takes it to the 25. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. Exactly 50 yards on that last play as they just go from 125 to the other for first and 10. Here's Thompson. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he got it, so he was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. And that'll be incomplete with just six seconds left on the clock. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. A final shot before break. Thompson. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. That is the first time that they've targeted him that he has not come down with a catch. He's caught everything that's been thrown his way. A dominant pass receiver that can break down any defense because when he's doing that kind of work, it really hurts you on the back end. And even though it's an incompletion there, I think they're going back to that well. Here's Thompson. A final shot before break. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. So we have reached halftime here in an 11-point contest. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, we'll get back to you two in a bit. For now, plenty of early game action around the NFL to get you caught up on, so let's get to it. We'll start up at Highmark Stadium, just outside of Buffalo. And it's the Bills who have the lead in that one. Josh Allen has thrown two touchdown passes. 
From there, we head to the Big Easy to check on the Saints at home in the Superdome. And they were winners in that one as they take care of the visiting Denver Broncos. Alvin Kamara, a touchdown run in the victory. Finally, let's take the trip across the Atlantic, see what's happening over in London. And things didn't work out so well as they fall to the visiting New England Patriots. Drake May leading the way in the victory with three touchdown passes. It was Devon Achan who's had the strong first half. He had a touchdown run that helped get his guys this halftime lead. We were certainly treated to an entertaining first half. Both these teams with some high points and maybe a couple of low points as well. So it's going to be a question of who can be the most disciplined team going forward. All right, Final Coach, adjustments taking much. place Fine in both teams' locker always, rooms. As we're we closing in on the second half. And to bring it your three. way, let's go back up to Indianapolis and rejoin Brandon and Charles. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. Out come the Colts. They'll have it first here to start quarter number three. And they're on the short end of the scoreboard here. And Charles, what adjustments, if any, do you think they need to make for the second half? We're paraphrasing the gold medal hockey winning coach Herb Brooks. I just say you continue to play your game. Throw the ball. They had success doing it in the first half. So make sure you keep getting the ball to your playmakers a little bit more to the perimeter, perhaps. But above all, play your game. He continues to deliver a first down here. He had four catches in the first half, and this one number five. And this is what they're going to need more of. It's the third quarter. You're trailing. You've got to come out with a renewed sense of purpose, and that's a nice way to kick off the drive with good yardage and a first down. Come on, come on. Check, check, check. Here's Richardson to throw. Now this taken in by Downs. Down to the 10, and he takes this one in for a Colts touchdown. Josh Downs, 51 yards. And the Colts come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, <laughs> all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in Big Sky Country. Aren't any speed limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. Richardson will throw for it. This is caught. Was he in? Yes. Two points. Well, I guess the coach looked at the two-point cheat sheet, said go for it, get it to a three-point game, and they did it. Yeah, and sometimes you just throw out time of game. You don't worry about that. There's just a feel sometimes in making that call, and he felt good about what he had for a two-point conversion, and now they're only down three and feeling great about themselves. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27 of the Dolphins offense. And Tyreek Hill set to take over once more. And he's been as productive as anyone in the NFL in the middle part of the season. The NFL's leader in receiving yards to this point, And he doesn't appear to be slowing down anytime soon. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And maybe some renewed pressure on this unit following the touchdown a moment ago. It's back to a one-score game. And because of that pressure, because it's now... And this is caught at the 20. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Tyreek Hill, 73 yards. And the Dolphins are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. This offense, they were dynamic in the first half. The halftime break, that didn't slow them down at all. Big strike here in the third quarter. It's almost as if they were saying, it's not just our skill in the first half is getting this done, it's confidence as well. And confidence has taken over this game in a big way. How about these strikes that we're seeing? Sanders on for the extra point. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Those are the kind of drives they like on offense from the coordinator to the quarterback, the line, everybody. One play drive and into the end zone for six. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders.
Now a crease here as he's past the 30. And that's pretty good coverage by the kick team as he'll only be able to get this past the 15-yard line and no further. The Colts offense and Anthony Richardson ready for this next possession. And we'll take you through some of the highlights here. You'll notice he had a hand in a lot of them so far. He's got this offense rolling right now. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. Right now, Charles, it just feels like they're trying to keep pace. They did score the touchdown last time out, but they still trail by double digits here. We'll see if this offense is once again up to the task. Yeah, and I think that after the last drive, they've gotten pretty revved up, don't you think? Everything they were doing was working pretty well. They go back out there with the same mindset, play at the same tempo and the same pace. Still a lot of time left to make something happen in this one. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. And they'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. Ready, now it's Richardson. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Looks like another empty possession offensively. And you're at that point in the game where you can't afford too many more of these. So this is going to require some heavy thinking on the sideline to figure out what they can do to crack this defense. As Sanchez on to punt here as he sends this one away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 18-yard line. The Dolphins offense and their quarterback set to take the field once more. And he's been a nightmare to scheme against throughout this one. This defense has been totally taken apart, and that is borne out in his numbers. He's been terrific all game long. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. Now Thompson. To the right side and intercepted. And he brings it back to right around the 26-yard line. So a potential momentum shifter there, working with a two-score lead third quarter, but that not the smartest of throws. I would agree with you on that one because this game is still very much in the balance. It felt pretty one-sided to this point, but now if these guys can turn this turnover into points, things could start getting a little more interesting. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. And they'll start with great field position, trying to get back into this one. It's first and 10 here. Ready. Richardson. And this will be incomplete. Well, they certainly knew their challenges. This series began, and they got a stop on play number one. Goal now, get two more stops and limit the damage to a field goal. Third quarter here in Indy. This is second and 10. Here we go, here we go. Ready? Richardson to throw off play action. And that's to the left sideline and incomplete. This defense has passed its first two tests by forcing back-to-back -back incompletions. They know that there's probably another throw coming on third down. Let's see if they decide to force the issue by sending people on a blitz. Ready, ready. Richardson looking to throw this. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Calais Campbell finding his way home for the sack. Well, how about that? A dime set on defense, six defensive backs. None of them blitz. They're just back there in coverage. Defensive lineman gets the sack. That's where the O-line, they go to the sideline, they keep their, their helmets on so the cameras can't find them, right? Yeah, the cameras can't find them, but I know one thing, the O-line coach will. And Gay knocks this one through. So kind of disappointing there. I mean, yes, they get the three, but with starting field position like that, three's not what you're banking on. No, and you just have to wonder if you can afford to let chances like that continue to pass you by. You've got to find ways to get the ball into the end zone and put sixes on the scoreboard. Well, a dangerous return man showing it here. And they'll have very good starting field position as he's up just shy of the 40. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. 
So now, Charles, this drive maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. A good pick up there, a 22. As they began this drive, I was wondering how they were going to attack since they're playing with the lead. Would they continue to try and push the ball downfield? Well, after one play, it appears that the answer is yes. Now HN on first and 10. And that one opened up for him well as he'll take this down to the 26-yard line. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and ten. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> Looking to throw, Thompson. He's got it. Touchdown, Dolphins. Tyreek Hill, his tenth touchdown of the season, second of the game. And the Dolphins will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. And he continues to be a focal point of this offense. That's now 10 touchdown catches for him on the year. Sanders now to add the extra point. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. Scoring summary. Three-play drive. And it ends with a touchdown pass to Tyreek Hill. Jason now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Here comes the Colts offense now as they make their way onto the field. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. Jalen Phillips, the edge man on the tackle. Here's second and ten. Here we go. Strike. They run once more with Taylor. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Officially nothing on that one, no gain, so they're left with still 10 to go on third down. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now in Indianapolis. It's the Colts, so they've got the football, but they've got work to do trailing here as we begin okay, the fourth ready. quarter. Two runs for a net gain of nothing. Now here's third and ten. Reno, Reno, smash, smash. Richardson out of the shotgun. Going to Woods, but that pass is intercepted. Picked off by Jordan Poyer. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Dolphins touchdown. And that pick six, that was the first turnover forced by the defense in this ballgame, CD. And what's even better is when they finally forced one, they kept the effort up and were able to return it for a score. They could hear their defensive coaches saying to them, hey, getting the interception's great. Can you do more with it? Turn it into a big play. And they did exactly that. Sanders on for the extra point. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21 points. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. And he'll weave all the way up to just a few yards shy of midfield, a great return. Even after that big time return, it's not looking great for them today. But if nothing else, even if the miracle doesn't happen, 
they can turn to this play and say, hey, we can move forward. Maybe it's a building block for the rest of the season. The toss here completed to Pittman. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. A short throw pulled in by Woods. Offside. Defense. And that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. First what I always love down. on these offsides is when each side points at the Let other. Hey, you did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. Back to throw, Richardson. This one completes Alec Pierce. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. A gain of 11 that time, and a Colts first down. Running straight ahead, Taylor. And a nice move will yield nothing as he stopped behind the line. After the loss, they'll come up second and 13. Ready. Richardson working from the gun. That complete to Downs. A gain of eight there on the play. And it brings up third and five now. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Now Richardson. And it's knocked away and incomplete. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Fourth down, desperation time. Here's Richardson. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. And Richardson looks to throw once more. Look at end zone, and he's got his man. It's Woods. Touchdown, Indianapolis. A seven-yard touchdown grab, and the Colts have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. So a little bit of a letdown there defensively. I mean, look, you're still two scores to the good, CD, but things may be a little more uncomfortable than they had hoped. Yeah, if you kept them at the end zone there, this game... You've locked the door on them. Instead, it's still open a little bit, and they've got a puncher's chance. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And the lead will be cut down to 14. So that drives seven plays in length. And a Jelani Woods touchdown catch capped things off. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And the Dolphins are going to recover. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. They've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. Down to the 10, and all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Devon Achan. His third rushing touchdown of the year. And the Dolphins add on to their lead, and it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. Another touchdown here in the fourth quarter, and Charles, I think we can start to consider that this undefeated streak of theirs is going to be safe for another week. And, partner, you don't make it this far into a season without a loss unless you're getting contributions from both sides of the ball and sometimes even your special teams, and that's been true today. Each side helping guide them to this late lead. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. And he's set to go on offense once more. 
And that unbeaten record very much in jeopardy. It's been a great first few months of the season so far, but they have run into a buzzsaw here, trailing big in the fourth quarter. Ready? Back to throw. Here's Richardson. As this complete to Woods. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. And now a stoppage. It looks like we have a Colt who was shaken up on that last play. Well, hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. On the set. Ball on the 35. Here comes second and five. Set. Set, go. Richardson looking to throw. That's caught by his tight end, Kylan Granson. Hurry, 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 hurry. On first down, he'll drop to throw. A short one there, caught by Granson. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Second down and four. Here we go, here we go. Ready. Again, it's Richardson. A short one there, caught by Granson. Powers ahead at the 45. Seven yards there and a first down. Again, he'll drop to throw. Throw out right, pulled in by Downs. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure. And down he goes. They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. Now the Colts will use their third and final timeout as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in this football game. The decision made for them. They've got to go. It's fourth down. Get it. Ready. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. And this is caught. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. And as this defense walks off the field, they can do so with their heads held high. What a performance well, by, by the offense, too. I mean, really, Charles, just complete domination on both sides of the football here in this one. Certainly was, and I think both sides compete against each other all the time. You go to each other in practice, obviously your training camps, your offseason. But on game day, you both want to show your best. And I think that's what we saw from both the offense and the defense, a complete team victory. So for the Dolphins, they remain as hot as anyone, 6-0 now through the first month and a half. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for Indianapolis, they fall for the first time this season after six wins.